Hey guys, this is John, and you're in the woods with Bigfoot. Just got some uh, yard work done today. Had a little time. Thought I'd work on this old wax. This was uh, one that Mom had. It's not that bad. Head's a little loose. You can't tell it when you. Holding it right here, if you stick it in that wood right there, you can wiggle it head all over the place. A little rusty. See, it's got some cracks right there. I just happen to have a new handle. Looks like that one's about flying off there anyhow. It's probably a quarter inch. Probably moved up about a quarter of an inch right there. So we're going to clean it up. I'm going to put a little edge on it. Just like somebody's been hammering on the edge with it. We'll uh, see what we can't do with it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hang in there with me. Jersey heads and cheeks make it harder to get the handle out of these things. Well, I just made a boo-boo. I uh, went through that whole process, pulling that ledge out, and I forgot to turn the camera on. But at any rate, what I done, I took that punch and knocked that wedge over that way, knocked it back this way, and kind of wiggled it out until I grabbed hold to it with the lining floors. And then uh, out it come. Still a pretty good looking wedge, just a little bit rusty. But uh, 
since this one didn't come with a wedge, I'll put it in there with it. Recycle. This uh, this haft here, it, uh, it came from a hardware store that was shutting down. I got it about half price. It's not the best grain, but it's not the worst. It'll, it'll survive. See, the grain is a it's kind of swirl, but it's mostly on a, about a 45 degree angle. And uh, ideally, you want the grain to be that way. But this one seems to be okay. That right there is not good because that'll that could act potentially break right off. But it's not in the center line, so uh, that's the reason I went ahead and bought it. I mean, it's not like I said, it's not the best, and I'm gonna have to do some work on it with with my draw knife after it's said and done, but I don't know if I'll get to that today, but I'm going to do my best to get that haft on, and uh, I don't know how much time, much more time I got, but we're going to, we're going to work on it too and get it, try and get it out of there, and I got that wedge out, I'm going to try and drive this out. I I've never done this before. The punch is about too big. It's not actually a punch. It's a cut off piece of 19 millimeter Allen wrench. No, I'm not hurting that wedge with this hammer. This is a dead blow hammer. It's designed for doing stuff like that. See, I'm gonna knock out what there is. Of not glued. Mine's not going to be glued either. I can't find the, my glue. But it's okay. We just were put in X handle thousands of years before we even had glue. So not a problem. Looks like I got another wedge out of it to come out the other way. You can see the wedge is still in it. Part of it.
There it is. Just like that. That looks pretty good in it. It's a little off center, a little thin on this side, but looks like it was made that way. And I don't know how old it is. But it's a good looking jersey head. I got another one over there. It's worn down to here. That's the reason I didn't put the aft on it. I, uh, I saved that half to put it on something else. And looks like this is going to be the, the new owner. Alright, let's get prepared to put this haft in here. Not sure how well you can see that. That haft ain't just exactly perfect for it. But it'll work. I think it'll fill it up okay. squeezes up in there pretty good. Press the edge a little bit. Yeah, Trust you. Swiss Army, huh? Perfect. Perfect, as I'd say. And what I'm trying to do is get that wedge started as I start this head. And then it's not as perfect as I thought. Move for the reach. Telling you, I've had a lot of Swiss Army knives. All of them with a plastic handle. I got this farmer. It's the one that's got the little saw in it. I think it's a, it's got to be made out of better steel. I could pull the edge on some other. I got two of them in there. One of them. 
handle, I need to replace the plastic handle on it because it sits down too close to the fire. And then uh, the other one, it's like it's delaminating on the blade. At any rate, I could get neither one of them to take a good edge. This one's had a good edge from day one. So I highly recommend out of the farmer, and I don't know if it's the farmer or if it's the fact that it's got the aluminum handles on it, or, or yeah, but uh, out of the way, I highly recommend it. It, uh, Taking the place of my old timer bear tooth trapper that I used to carry in my pocket all the time. Simply because it's got a stainless steel blade on it. And if you cut fruit much with your uh, steel blade, and it'll dull really quickly. And a dull blade is no good to anybody. Dull blade is a dangerous blade. Just want to get that started. Pain in the butt to try and find that crack once you get this thing started in there. I'm sure this looks funny. Got the head down there, handle up here. That actually drives the head on. Starting to look crooked. Drive it a little different. So it's going on there pretty good. Seem to be rolling off too much. That's gonna fit a lot better than I thought. <laughs> but about that forward and then drove all the way home. About to the bottom of the wedge. I got just a few little curls coming up. Getting way closer. And this handle, that sheep's foot's got a flat spot right there. That's for you to drive on it with. Now, most people, when they get done, they'll shape that off, that flat. And I'll probably pull these wide cheeks off right here too. I'll probably pull, probably pull them wide cheeks off right there too, once it's drove up home. But, uh, and when I go to work on the handle. But, uh, so we'll get this on up. I don't want to bore you with the rest of that. Alright. Not much of that uh, got on film or got on camera, but 
I got it drove up pretty flush. And I got my wedge drove in there. She's a she snugs bug in the road. I had to uh, had to pull it off four times and hit it with my oh. Hit it with my old draw knife just to uh, kind of fit it in a little bit. I had uh, had issues with my camera. Uh, card filled up, battery ran dead, blah blah blah. Excuses, excuses, right? But anyhow, as I said, I had to trim off for these. This jersey style head has got that, the two cheeks that stick down. And uh, so they were causing curls and stopping it from going on. So I just trimmed it, shaved it down ever so gently. Now I'm going to trim that uh, wedge back and uh, I, may, uh, I may put a little bit of an edge on that. It's, it's not too awful bad, but it's not too awful good either. It ain't pitted it out at least. And uh, well, let's get to, the, get to doing that. All right. I'm not going to trim it right dead against this. I want it to stick up just a little bit. like it. It's actually a little more than I wanted, but Too short, but it'd be all right. It's just for aesthetics, anyway. That's the only reason I wanted it to stick up. It'll be okay. We got that. Anyhow, I'll drive that in there. That's uh. That's my fit. Hope the camera. A little hole right there, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. But uh Yeah. Let me readjust it. We'll put that wedge in there. I see a lot of people want to put these things in there crooked. And I guess that looks okay when you do that, but I'm gonna drive mine home straight, well, fairly straight. Not completely straight. But, uh, I really don't think a head's gonna come over. I had to uh, handle these a little finishing. It's a little bit on the thick side. But, 
but I think that'll make for a nice axe. Shoot, uh, it's cleaned up all right for a working axe. I plan on, I don't guess any of my stuff showroom. My most varnia. It's pretty close. Probably gonna put that same that same style finish on on that one is this is this who's for you. But uh anyhow I hope I uh, hope you pick something up on that. I hope that uh I said, let's uh, say put an axe head on. How you haft an axe. How you put a haft in an axe. However you want to say it. And uh, what boils down to this is how you put the handle in an axe. And uh, I hope I didn't bore you too bad with it. it uh, it's work. And some of them's more work than others. This one, this one was a job. But uh, when I done the double bit, now this one was a job. That that haft was not made for that head at all. It was a lot, 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 lot of work went into putting this back to where it's supposed to be. But uh, but I got it. You just have to decide that's what you're going to do in debt. But uh, I'm not claiming to be no axe expert, no axe man, nothing like that. But we're uh, trying to get by do things self-reliance way and uh, I want to tell you get out and have yourself an adventure and uh, as you say Mount Bushcrafters Alliance go farther and stay longer I do appreciate y'all uh, tuning in and uh, y'all have a good day thank you